So when I log into GoDaddy and choose the name I want to change, uh, usually your servers will say, um, you know, secure servers or whatever GoDaddy's default servers are. But what I did was come down here and you'll see host summary, or you'll see a different name down here, but it'll be obvious because then you'll add or edit. And that's where you put in your servers. And for me, I put in NS1 River Valley Web Hosting and NS2 River Valley Web Hosting or Tech Support. Um, if you go back to um, the ISP config system, you'll see how that relates um, inside of ISP uh, config. There are um, there are servers here. Um, I think I use this one. Records and NS1 and NS2 um, are the IPs here. So that is what I pointed it to. Um, then once uh, this kicks in, you'll come back up here, and when you go to change your name servers, instead of saying secure.godaddy or whatever, you, you can add in your custom name servers, which was this. And um, those two steps then allow me to uh, have my own name servers with GoDaddy. Where if I didn't do the first step, when I go in there, it usually rejects them as unknown servers. And um, But that's it. Now you're in charge of the whole DNS thing.